Can you stop doing that? Sorry. One o'clock. We came in for morning coffee, soon it'll be time for afternoon tea. Well, what's keeping them? I don't know. Hey, look. It says press for attention. Oh, right. Ow! The service here is shocking. You can say that again. Must be something wrong with this. Hey, don't touch it. It could be dangerous. Well, it needs a bit of attention. Probably needs a new battery. Uh-oh. No, hey, hey. Now then. There must be a bell or a buzzer somewhere. You're right. And that obviously needs attention. Now, this should lead us to it. We only came in for a cup of tea. Now, which one is it? This one, I think. <laughs> See to that, Barry. Oh, come and give us a hand, Barry. I need to pull it away from the wall so I can see where the wire goes. A radiator? Yeah, it'll be all right. Just don't pull it too far. <coughs> oh, just that thought. It goes behind the dresser. It would. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Come and give us a hand. Oh, dear. Perfect. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I know. So we can repair it properly. Well done. Right. Move this now. After three. Right. One, two, three. To me. To you. To you. To me. And again. To me. To you. To you. To me. Can you see behind yet? One more time. To me. To you. To you. To me. That's it. Oh dear, oh dear. This is ridiculous. Haven't you fixed that yet? It snapped. Don't stick it back up, nobody will notice. You'll never guess where the buzzer is. Where? Right next to the bell push. Oh. Whoever installed this must have been a complete idiot. We've never been here before. Well, I'm going to tidy it up. Chris. Oh! Ah! Hey, are you all right? Oh. 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 Barry? Yes? Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to check, see if this is working now. Excellent. Hello? I don't think that was such a good idea, Paul. Quick, tidy up. I haven't been waiting too long. Uh, no, no, we've just sat down. So what can I get you boys? Could we have two cream teas, please? Certainly. Hey, just a minute. Where are you going? Well, to get the plate. Don't you keep them in the kitchen? Oh, no, Ron, dear. Well, stop. What? Um... Can we use our own plates? Well, I suppose so. I'll just get your scones. They're not in the cupboard, are they? Oh, don't be silly. They're in the kitchen. <laughs> Where are we going to get the plates from? That shop next door. It sells antiques and crockery and stuff. Great. Go and get them and be quick about it. OK. <laughs> Everything's sorted. Oh, dear. 50p? Daylight robbery. I'd like to buy some plates, please. How many? Two. I'm afraid we only sell them in sets of six. Well, that'll have to do, then. These are very nice. Antique. Oh. Been in the family for years. <laughs> I'm loath to part with them. How much do they cost? Make me an offer. Five pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Ten pounds? Fifteen, and that's my last offer. Done. 
I think I have been. Oh dear. Got some. Thank you. Excuse me. Er, mm. uh, you've forgotten the tea. Mm. Oh no, the pots are in the cupboard. Oh. Uh, forget about the tea. Mm. We'll just have the scones. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm so sorry, they slipped. Mm. Could you just go and prepare us some more, please? Thank you very much. Now what? We're going to have to go and get a teapot and some cups and saucers. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll go. What am I going to do? You can keep your eye on that. Right. Oh dear. 50p? Daylight robbery. Uh, tea service, please. Certainly. What sort would you like? Um, have you been to the tea shop next door? Of course. One exactly the same as theirs. Oh. That's going to be expensive. <laughs> I'll get it for you. I've got the stuff. Maybe now we can get something to eat. It's two o'clock already. Mm. Come on. Why don't you press the buzzer? Yes. You all right? I'm fine, yes. What's wrong? I think I've had too much squash. Me too. Oh no, it's overflowing again. I know how it feels. It's no good. What? I'm going to pay for the scones, apologise for the damage and leave. What do you think? That's not like you, Paul. Nothing. Hello? What happens if you know who's in there? We'll just give them five more minutes. We can't leave it any longer. Perhaps the stop valve's in the kitchen. Why don't you get them to turn it off? Yes. They don't know we did it. Hello? There's nobody here. Strange. What's going on? I reckon they're playing a joke. Trying to wind us up. At least we can turn the water off. Not yet. Right, now you can. Hang on. Phew, what a relief. I'm telling you, if I see that lady again, I'll give her a piece of my mind. Ah, there you are. I'll have my usual, please. A pot of tea and scones. What? Certainly, madam. Hey, in the kitchen. We'll go out the back way. I thought you were going to give her a piece of your mind. I'll send her an email. She's bonkers. <laughs> what are going to do now? I don't know about you, but I'm going to start buttering some scones. Hello. Service. Now what does she want? Yes? Oh, do make sure you serve my scones from their beautiful silver cake stand. Right. What are you doing? She said she wants a scone served on the beautiful silver cake stand. Well, we'll have to charge her extra. Some of the customers we get in here, eh? It's not actually our shop. Oh no, I forgot. Well, what we're going to do? That bloke next door. I bet he'll have a silver cake stand. All clear. I won't be long. Could I have a silver cake stand, please? Goodness. We are pushing the boat out today. <laughs> I feel like jumping off it. I think I've got one. It'll cost you, though. Now, there's a surprise. Got one. That looks very expensive. It was very expensive. How much? Well, you know that torch I'm getting you for your birthday? Yes. You're going to have to wait till Christmas for the batteries. Right, that does it. Now, I am going to give her a piece of my mind. Shift. Now, look. About this silver cake stand of yours. Yes. Ah, uh, here it is. The scones are just coming. Goodo. And we'll have a little chocolate mousse to follow. 
Chocolate mousse? Yes, and do make sure that it's served from that lovely antique mahogany trolley. Now look. <laughs> no problem. Antique mahogany trolley? Well, I have got one, but it's very expensive. It's an heirloom, you see. It's been in the family for years. It'd be very difficult to part with it. I'm sure you'll manage. I'll just go and get it. No. It could be. Gentlemen, get down from there. Oh! Yes! Oh. Hello? What is it? I'm so sorry. I'm afraid Desmond has broken your charming clock. Oh, well, never mind. They have some very nice replacement ones at the shop next door. It doesn't matter. It was one of Desmond's favourites, too. He'll get over it. Oh. I'll go and get one now. Don't forget our moose. Oh. Quick. We need the cuckoo clock. Hey, look. Ah, he's here. Well, he is and he isn't. What do you mean? I think it's all a big con to get us to buy stuff. You mean they're in it together, the old lady and him? Yes, he's trying to scare us by dressing up in that. Ah, but I just heard the thing in there. But did you see him? No. Of course you didn't. He was in here with me. It was probably the old lady making all the noise. Right, I'll take charge of this. Here we are, last one in the shop. Anything else I can get you? We do a rather nice line in cuckoo clocks. And we do rather a nice line in mooses. And you can have it on us for nothing. Come on, Mummy. That was a quick change. I'm so sorry about Desmond. He's rather lively today. We've noticed. He must have dashed next door more times than we have. Did you get a replacement clock? We know it's a big con. And he knows that we know too. So I suggest that you get back in that kitchen and you can get back to your junk shop and take that stupid mask off. Does this belong to you, Ivy? You! You can't be. But that means that he really is. <laughs> you do get the strangest of customers here, Ivy. new battery. Uh-oh. No, hey, hey. Oh, now then. Isn't there a bull or a, be a, bull or a bezzer somewhere? There might be a bell or a buzz anyway. Yeah. What? I'm going to pay for this bit. <laughs> You'll never guess where the buzzer is. Where? <laughs> Did you see him? No. Ah, quite right. <laughs> it was all rubbish from there. <laughs>